I'm with Dr. Donald Jensen, and he's giving a state-of-the-art lecture on Sunday here at DDW. It's titled, The Treatment of Hepatitis C, Interferon-Free at Last. Well, you are talking about a very hot topic. Can you give us a preview of what you'll be discussing? Yes, th this is an exciting time for, for hepatitis C and hepatologists that have been treating hepatitis C, thinking that it's only been 25 years since the virus was discovered in 1989 to go from a time of discovery through a period of interferon-based therapies, which had a lot of toxicity with low cure rates, to today we're on the precipice of being able to cure virtually everybody with hepatitis C without interferon. It's an exciting uh, uh, time to be. What is it like for you to, to watch people get therapy without the massive side effects you've seen in the past? It's amazing. Yeah, we have patients that have suffered through previous courses of interferon therapy, so they knew what was involved with that therapy. Now cured with just 12 weeks of oral, no interferon treatment. Um, to them, it feels like they're born again. They have more energy. Uh, they feel better. They have more confidence in their ability to live longer. So it's an exciting time for them too. Can you give us uh, any sense at all of, of what you might discuss when it comes to these new direct acting antivirals? So two, uh, two direct acting antivirals were approved at the end of 2013. So mm -hmm. they're already available. Um, on the horizon and due to be approved in the latter part of this year, October to December of this year will be new agents. Uh, the first few agents I uh, had interferon-free capabilities only for two genotypes of hepatitis C, genotype 2 and genotype 3. Genotype 1, the most common, still requires interferon uh, therapy. Uh, coming in the fall, even genotype 1 will be able to be treated interferon-free. So that's virtually everybody, uh, even patients with cirrhosis, even patients who had a liver transplant, even patients who have other complications of the disease. So it's truly amazing, and if you think that there's 3.2 million people in the United States with have, hepatitis C, yes. only 50% of or less have been identified, only 10 to 15% have actually been treated with hepatitis C, it's a huge number of people that are out there potentially uh, to take advantage of this therapy. And it's exciting, I think the members of this conference uh, may soon have access to a medication that lets them treat uh, a major cause of hepatitis C. A major cause of hepatitis C in the genotype 1. 70% of patients wow. have genotype 1. So, so that is exciting. Um, and the cure rates are phenomenal. We're talking 95 to 100% cure rates uh, with just 12, 8 or 12 weeks, sometimes 24 weeks of, uh, of an oral therapy with few side effects. Uh, it means that this therapy isn't necessarily going to be relegated just to hepatology specialists to mm -hmm. treat it. It can broaden the base of treaters for this disease because it'll be an easier treatment uh, for everybody. Well, what you find is that once there's a, a really effective, usable treatment out there, the search for patients gets that much more um, intense. You know, what do you see happening now in terms of finding these three million people with hepatitis C? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, the CDC back in 2011 had recommended that every baby boomer, everybody born between 1945 and 1965, get tested for hepatitis C. That's 75 percent of all the people in the United States who have hepatitis C. Uh, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force also endorsed that recommendation, so now it's covered by Medicaid and, and Medicare wow. uh, billing to get tested, a one-time test for hepatitis C. So we now recommend all baby boomers get tested one time for hepatitis C. That should uncover about 800,000 cases that are amenable to treatment for hepatitis C. Well, it, it sounds like there's a whole new era that's evolving in the treatment of this major cause of hepatitis. It's an exciting time. Dr. Jensen, thank you so much for being here. I'm thank looking you. forward to what you have to say. Thank you very much. Dr. Jensen will be taking this conversation on hepatitis C live on Twitter this Monday at noon. Now, if you'd like to join him, the hashtag is DDW14Chat, and that's Monday at noon, noon central time.